Hello everyone, we are the students of DPS Batinda, made our project of smart irrigation system. So here we have used Arduino relay module 9V battery, soil motion sensor which was immersed in water and a DC pump. So whenever we put the soil moisture sensor in wet soil, the water will not be pumped by the DC pump and plant didn't get more amount of water. Whenever we put this soil moisture sensor in dry soil, the pump will work and give sufficient amount of water to plants. Now I am showing you the working of this project. So see the soil moisture sensor has been immersed in the wet soil. So the pump is not working. When I put this sensor in dry soil, the pump start throwing the water into the plants. See. As you can see now, soil moisture sensor is in wet soil, so pump is not working. When I put this sensor in another part of the soil where it is dry, so pump start working. See, when I put in moist, pump stop. When I put in the another part, it start. So this is how this project works. Of this project is very simple. In uh, in this project, we have used the idea of drip irrigation system, but in a smart way. This project is programmed to water the plants automatically in case of low moisture. When the moisture sensor detects that the moisture is low, uh, water is supplied to the plants through this rubber pipe and a mini submersible water pump. Uh, the idea of this project is uh, useful more in summers as we uh, don't have to stand again and again and water the plants. Now we will explain about uh, other problems. A mini submersible water pump is a very low cost and small size pump that can work upon 2.5 to 6 volt of battery. It can hold up to 120 liters of water per hour on a very low electricity consumption of just 22, uh, 220 mb. It uh, just submerges sumber, it in water and power. Arduino is an open source microcontrolling board that can be integrated into any electronic project. Its main function is to control all other electronic components and uh, and send signal to the uh, relay module by the use of coding. In this project, we have programmed the Arduino to uh, control the relay module and send signal to it. The Arduino has 13 digital pins and 5 uh, analog pins. It has it uses at Mega 328 microcontroller. It has a 5 volt and 3.3 volt power supply. Arduino is an open board hardware development board that can be used by tinkerers, hobbyists and makers to design and build devices. Arduino consists of both a physical circuit board and a piece of software or IDE that is used to upload code to the physical board. The relay module is an electrical switch which works on the functioning of an electromagnet. The electromagnet is activated by a separate low power signal microcontroller. This is a relay module. It contains three pins. VCC, ground and signal. In this section, we can see that the, the relay module is connected to a 9 volt battery. When activated, the electromagnet pulls to either open or close an electric circuit. The main function of this relay module is to switch electric devices and system on and off. The moisture of the soil plays an important role in the irrigating fields as well as in the garden for plants. As it rates, the soil provides food for the plants for their growth. The supplying of water is also necessary to change the temperature of the plants. The soil moisture sensor is also a type of sensor used to measure the amount of water in the soil. It has VCC pin used for power, AO pin is an analog output, DO pin is a digital output and GNT pin is a ground. The required voltage for working is 5V. The required temperature for working is 10 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. The required current for working is 20 milliamp A. The type of interface is analog. Applications of soil moisture sensor are landscape irrigation, gardeners and agriculture. Thank you.